My fair watching this, I am so sorry. <laughs> I don't really want to say goodbye to my piercings. And if that happens, at least I have this video. Hello my loves and welcome back to another video. And if you're new here, I'm Charisse and I'm your crazy herd girl, always seeking for new adventures and you are welcome in this channel. Make sure you subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification bell and let's get started. We're gonna talk about the age that I got them, the story behind these piercings, and also the pain level but mostly we're going to talk about the healing process and the aftercare don't forget the most important story in this video is the piercing horror story yes i have experienced it once warning it will be really gross i am going to college sooner and i think the university is really strict about body piercings so I'll just keep it here, you know, serve it as a reminder. <laughs> I don't really want to say goodbye to my piercings. And if that happens, at least I have this video. Okay, so my first piercing is my low piercing, of course. We all started from the bottom. Now we're here. So my low piercing, I got this after like months after I was born. And it was pierced by a nurse in the hospital because my mom let them pierce me. <laughs> but pretty much a gold star for a newborn, I think. It is pretty painful but tolerable. I wasn't into piercing until I get this second lobe piercing. I was at the age of 13 to 14 years old at that time. And there was this crazy ice cream commercial specifically cornetto and there was this one close-up shot that this girl in the commercial was eating her ice cream and instead to draw an attention to the ice cream i was drawn attention to her earrings to her piercings girl and i saw that she has this double look piercing and i think it's a pretty Badass. It was actually pretty hard to convince my mom Not until my cousin from the other country visited And she finally let me pierce my ear Because I said like Why aunt let her pierce her ear? And I was like I should do mom You see there's no harm in doing this So mm, I finally convinced her And I quickly rushed to the store with my aunt And I said Please buy me a gold double stud piercing. She's a nurse by the way. Don't do this at home. And I know I'll be safe because she's a nurse. <laughs> and then finally, she pierced my ear. A scale of 1 to 10. 1 is the lowest and 10 is the highest in a pain scale level. I think it was a 2. Yes, I know 2 is pretty much very low but high at the same time. Because I was definitely shocked at that point. My mom do warn me like... If you get this low piercing, no more piercings, okay? Mm, that didn't happen. Now we're moving on to my third low piercing. It was around summer as I remember and I was extremely bored. I always get bored, what do you expect? I was bored at this time and there was nothing to do unless you lie down on the couch and sleep. But instead, I just bought myself a stud because why not right and then i go to my aunt's house and i asked her to pierce me she did agree my mom don't know so i'm sorry again my right ear third loop piercing has a different story but actually the same okay different but the same now let's move on to my right ear third loop piercing yes it was actually boring at that time i know like most of my piercings i got them because i was bored and there's no reason <laughs> okay i was supposed to study midterms examination in physics don't worry i didn't fail the exam <laughs> instead i used my previous studs earrings and i 
pierced it my own when mom wasn't looking. But of course, the pain level here is probably a zero now because I am completely numb. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. And now, since all of my lobes are completely pierced, what do we do now? We go up! We're leveling up to the helix piercing like everyone does, bro. Because of course, the helix piercing is like the second tier of everyone in the piercing world. And the most wanted piercing. Okay, I was going to get my sister's garden school, but mm, unfortunately, uh, my little mind played tricks again and said, Okay, I dare you to get a helix piercing right now at this point. Do it. It will be an accomplishment or something. And of course, as I get the card of my sister, I immediately call my friend and I said, Hey bro, like, do you wanna come with me? Let's meet up at this place right here, right now. Let's go. We actually met up at the tattoo shop though. Yes, it was my first time going to a tattoo shop to get my ears pierced. It was actually really safe to get your ears pierced at a tattoo shop or any piercing shops because it will lessen the damage okay so i get it professionally pierced though and it was pierced with a flat back barbell the pain level is one out of ten definitely a one but i do feel a lot of pressure and i feel like it was throbbing the most painful part of this helix piercing is whenever it gets stuck in my hair or whether I slept in this side. So I always slept in the right side because my left side has this freshly new pierced and I am pissed because my classmates or my friends do touch them a lot and there was this one time that my mom pinched my ear because she forgot I have that piercing and she was really mad at that point. And after I was pierced, I get to eat a strawberry ice cream and a float. Because of course, it's like a dentist thing, you know, after I got something from the dentist, you give me sweets or maybe after I get that injection, I wanted a treat. Finally! My most recent, most impulsively, it's so impulsive that it get infected. My root piercing. Warning, it will be really gross. And because it's a gift for myself, because I'm turning 18, I decided to get this pierce at my favorite piercer. I won't mention her name, <laughs> even though I really... I really really look up to her like so much and she failed me bro I was really excited at that point to get my rook pierced but well unfortunately she pierced it so wrong it was too far back and way too shallow it was not even in the rook bro which resulted into this piercing rejection so i started to notice my rook that it was really itchy it was swelling and it always occur redness which is a very bad sign and i thought oh maybe it was just healing fine and it was all part of the healing process but sister no it wasn't it was performing piercing rejection no the piercing also tends to move into the edge as if it was hanging already and it was started to be transparent like literally you can see the piercing through my skin and if you see some rejections like this please call your piercer immediately i really prefer that if though i didn't do it that was something that was really wrong but instead i immediately removed the piercing if you let that piercing stay in your ear it will probably fall up and i have this piercing scar already in my rook I was so disappointed bro like why she do that she was my idol really broke my heart 
So now, let's talk about the aftercare and the healing process. So the healing process is actually really challenging though throughout my piercing journey. And I think I did get a so-called piercing bump. It's like a pimple kind of thing beside your piercing hole, okay? You usually tend to get this scar if you have a fresh and new piercing in the cartilage area. Yeah, I have that for like a while. In the clearing process, I usually used a salt water and I just soak my freshly piercing for like 5-10 minutes. Or either way, I use a Q-tip to clean my piercings or to clean any um, blood or scabs in the piercing. I do use that or to clean pus or something. I did use colloidal silver. It helped me a lot. It speeds the healing process two times though. So you're asking me, do I have any future plans with this piercing thing? I still want a lot though, especially an industrial piercing or the conch. I was supposed to get conch this summer, but unfortunately the pandemic struck, so it was really cancelled. But I think I'm still reconsidering all my decisions. But my school wasn't really into this piercing code and they're pretty strict. And I am actually going to college now, as I said. So I am not sure. If you're gonna ask me, is my senior high school department okay with this piercing thing? Uh, no. <laughs> so I'm. I don't know in college. I'm just a fresh college student though so good luck to me good luck to everyone who's going to college right now and unfortunately we didn't experience graduation and walking up to the stage we'll get them next time 2020 batch i originally wanted an industrial piercing but unfortunately the bar is too long and my ears are really short though so i only got a helix piercing I want it so bad, but I just have to find a really short bar that fits in my ear. Yeah, yeah that looks good. And that's all for this video. I hope you like this and make sure you subscribe. Comment down below what are your thoughts and see you guys on my next video. Bye!